Hello everyone, this is Gussie Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com. Today we're looking at a nebula. I know, I know, just a few days ago we were looking at a nebula. But here we are again with something that looks like a spaceship. This looks like one of those homegrown spaceships that I was talking about, bioengineered. Have you ever seen the TV series Farscape, the Australian series? Okay, Gigi Edgeley, she knows who I am. Anyway, uh, she's in it too. She's an actress. Uh, they had a bioengineered ship on the show, and this kind of looks like what a bioengineered ship might look like, and it's hovering in a nebula area. It's really huge. Uh, this is the the website. It is an official website. It's AOPD NASA government, and I will leave the link below in the so you can click on it. Just click on this photo, and it will enlarge to this one. And click it on again, and you have a super super large photo. And there it is, right there. Can you see it? Okay, the ship is hovering right over here. Now this ship, it's a big photo. I'm telling you. This ship looks really cool and very, very solid. Okay, there's a lot of gaseous uh, uh, hovering mist going around here. I'm not sure what the hell you're going to call it. But I know a difference between a solid and a gas. Solid, gas. This object is a solid. Very similar to some UFOs. I found some photos uh, way back um, and this well, post is in 2011. Way back in 2011, I found these photos, and now it's like playing hide and seek. I had to find them four different times. And as you see, I have found them. They kept moving the URLs. And uh, this looks similar to what we're just looking at. These ships, look how clear the ship is. These ships are bioengineered ships. They're nothing like us because they didn't grow up in our environment. They're not like us. They didn't go to our schools. They didn't have to see grandma on the weekends. Come on. This is an alien species, an alien culture, who sees things different and they make things different. They're probably a million years ahead of us, could be even a billion years ahead of us in technology, which makes them look like gods compared to us, but they're not. They're just more fortunate people than us okay they're just aliens that managed to survive long enough to enjoy the benefits of godly technology so look at this this looks like to me a ship it really does it does look like an object it looks like there's another one over here too now here is the main photo and i'll put this photo in the url god that is beautiful isn't it beautiful that is fantastic okay uh, this is, what nebula is this anyway? Let's go back. This is the NGC 281 J. Roth Nebula. Who the hell names these things? You gotta have a better name than that, right? Jeremy Roth named it. That figures. That figures. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Jeremy Roth named it after himself. Okay. Good thing it wasn't a disease. Anyway, here is the ship. I mean, this must be huge. I'm talking moon size, people. Moon size. I mean, it's huge. Lucky for us, it's on this side, our side of the nebula, not the farther side. Otherwise, it would be very, very tiny, like these little dots. This is much, much closer. And also note that some of the dots are on top of it. Like these are engines and it's disguised, it's trying to disguise itself as its surroundings. Man, this is big. This is a big object. It really is. Let's see if we could try to try to make it focus a little bit. No, it doesn't focus there. Okay, using Photoscape X. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Let's sharpen. Sharpen a little bit more. Well, there you go. You can see it's a solid, that line going around it and everything. That's a little bit too sharp, though. But it is really awesome, isn't it? Scott C. Waring, UFO Sightings Daily. Please like and subscribe, baby. See you later.